that time and moment again you were a lady a girl your only person and i by jiba i come your way with nothing but the best of news in and around the globe and especially in africa i bring you every tom dick and harry details going on in the world and today we're delving into the world of football because it's just recently that um the women of spain i mean the spanish women's team uh, actually won the world cup this story is just an update because we've already been talking about it due to the incident that actually happened after we all we all could see the women jubilating the country spain was jubilating each and everybody in the stadium was actually jubilating and out of the blooms out of nowhere our spanish um, FA president luis rubiales came out of nowhere to give a deep kiss yeah to give a deep kiss to one of the leaders on the team that is Barca's feminine legend who is by name jenny hermoso yeah jenny hermoso was jubilated with her colleagues everybody was jubilated no one knows where it came from out of the blues all we could see that luis rubiales came out of nowhere to give jenny a deep kiss on the lips yeah, which these people were like, wow, what is actually happening? Is there anything going on between them? What is going on? But for this, um, Jenny came out that she was quite uncomfortable because she was forcefully kissed on the pitch. Yeah, that was according to Jenny. She was forced and kissed on the pitch and she didn't like what actually happened. But when Luis Rubiales was asked about this whole incident, he was claiming that that kiss was consensual because it seems they had planned it already that if they win, um, Luis Rubiales will come out and kiss her for the good job they have done. But according to the lady, it was nothing of that sort and therefore she didn't like what, has, uh, what actually took place on the field. And we've had the likes of um, Zavi. Yeah, yeah, Zavi has come out to talk about this. And he's claiming that what um, he did was not right. Luis Rubiales, despite being an FA president, people actually look up to you uh, for motivation, uh, as, as a role model for certain things, for, so for some skills and for some qualities to be portrayed by him. And him doing this was actually um, below the belt. He actually cro crossed the limit. He was off. If we were to be on the field, it was to be offside. Yeah. And with this, Andres Iniesta, who is also a, a former Spanish uh, player, and they've all been playing Barcelona, yeah, because um, the lady in question, Jenny Hermoso, is also a fair Barca feminine legend who has also played for Barcelona women's um, field or, or side, yeah. So these people are actually known in Barcelona and also known really, really in Spain, and they are really, really adored in Spain. And therefore, Iniesta has also come out to state that he is a father of three ladies and also a husband and wouldn't like his children, his female children, to be forcefully harassed like this and therefore something is supposed to be done. And though something has been done, but these people are not actually happy with the outcome of the results. Yeah, because FIFA took to its um, position as the overall control of football in the world by suspending Luis Rubiales for 90 days with his just two months, two months of suspension for him to get off anything concerning football. So after two months, Luis Rubiales can come back to take his position as uh, the Spanish FA president, which people are trying to say it's a kind of absurd because what he actually did was wrong. We should have been talking about the win of Spain. We should have been talking about the win, the, the victory that was brought to Spain by those women. But here's the case, we are talking about an atrocity that was committed on the field on the D-Day of the match when Spain actually won over England, which is not supposed to be so. So they were expecting that FIFA could do something beyond um, the 90 days he has given to Luis Rubiales. But I don't know, I can't be the judge of this because FIFA has already brought out its results or brought out its judgment against Luis Rubiales. But what is your take on this? Do you think it was fair? If it were to be your daughter, would you be happy? If it were to be your mom, your sister, whatever it, it be, would you be happy that Luis Rubiales did this on the field against your sister? Your sister 
claims that it wasn't a consensual um, act, but Luis Rubiales also claims it's a consensual act. What is your take on this? Let your comments be reviewed or be seen in the comment section.